Right, this video should have been, uh, you know, a part of the last video, but I thought I'd, I'd add it now separately. Uh, in OCaml, we have several directives when we are working interactively, i.e. when we're using the top loop or the top level. Some people call it top loop, some people call it top level. I'm sure you're familiar with it by now. But anyway, there's a nice, there's a, there are several directives that help us load things dynamically and work interactively. One of them helps us trace functions in OCaml. So if we build on our last video, uh, our last video for the um, uh, recursive functions, if we have, for example, a simple factorial function, something uh, function that computes factorial, sim something similar to this, we copy that and go to our top level or top loop, as you like, and paste it. So what this function does, as you know, it computes the factorial of a given value, but we have a nice directive called trace. What, what, what we can do is we can trace a function, so we use hash trace and give the function name, and as you can see here, it's telling us that fact now is traced, yes? So it's going to trace this function, and what this helps us do is it helps us uh, trace the parameters and the computations or the results of a function. So if I call fact now with 5, as you can see now, uh, it's showing me different values for the parameters and for the results. And when it says fact and then left arrow, that means this value here is an input or a parameter or, a, or, a, or an argument to the function. So this function has, in the first iteration, it has a a variable or an input of va value 5 in the beginning second iteration it becomes 4, becomes 3, becomes 2, becomes 1 and then now we start to get the results so 1 and then it starts sort of pop out yeah as we explained in the video it pop pops up uh, uh, in the opposite direction so 1 and then 1 times 2 and then 2 times 3 and then uh, so on and so forth when it calculates the factorial I hope this makes sense so left arrow means this is an input argument to our function right arrow means <coughs> this is a result from the function call until it reaches the until it reaches the last iteration and the output now is 120 which is a result of 24 times 5 and 24 is factorial of 4 factorial of 3 factorial of 2 factorial of 1 and factorial of uh, yeah factorial of 1 because we don't go down to 0 we can do the same thing for our fibonacci but as you can expect, the calculations are the number of calculations is much more. So if we give it a lot, so this is a Fibonacci function, Fibonacci function, and then uh, by the way we can say untrace by the way untrace fact, and now it tells you here fact is no longer traced, and now we want to trace Fibonacci, copy and paste that, and then if we say Fibonacci for example of four. Then again, remember, left arrow is an input, right arrow is the output, and as you can see now, we have um, it's, it's actually taking one branch at a time now. So four, two, zero, and then outputs one, and then one as an input, outputs one, two, uh, two as an output, three as an input, one as an input, one as an output, and so on and so forth. As you remember, I'm hoping that you still remember the that branching tree of the Fibonacci series. I just thought this would be quite useful to you. Thank you very much for watching again and I'll see you next time.